This is a podcast by The Straits Times. Welcome to the Portraits of Purpose podcast series brought to you by DBS Bank. In this series, we speak to purpose-driven businesses committed to solving the challenging issues of our time. Nothing shines brighter in the midst of adversity than light born of hope, courage, perseverance and generosity. You can find stories of purpose-driven people who demonstrate such qualities at the website go.dbs.com slash portraits. In this fifth episode, we meet Anil David, founder of Agape Connecting People, a company that provides contact centre services. Hi Anil, you run a promising call centre company now. But when you were a student and early on in your career, you made all the wrong calls in life. Tell us more. I dropped out from school and I failed my O-levels. I somehow rather ended up uh, doing insurance. And I realised that actually I love interacting with people and I was pretty good at it. I knew that if I, if I, I could do this right and I, I could actually succeed. Uh, but however, again, another phase of my life, I took shortcuts. You know, many people uh, would like to achieve their usual ambitions in life. I too wanted this, but the thing is that I was willing to take a risk, break the law, and take all those shortcuts, and something was really, really wrong with me. So Anil, as we understand your backstory, you were sentenced to prison three times for multiple counts of fraud. From 1995, you were in and out of jail for 12 years. And your third sentence really hit you the hardest, right? For the first time, right, fear caught my heart. When I heard that I was sentenced for eight years, I thought this was the end. And true enough, my family did not want to do anything with me. They had given up hope. I don't blame them. Then one day, the officers that came and, and rounded up all the inmates and were saying that here, we are giving you a yellow ribbon. This yellow ribbon comes with a letter and we would like to every one of you to send this letter at home with the yellow ribbon attached. I was telling myself, what kind of stupid program is this yellow ribbon? But since it was being given free, I still took it and I wrote it. You can see this really old letter. I wrote this to my daughter and I told her that I have, it's taking me a lot of courage to write to her. And I wrote to my daughter and say, will she forgive me? The yellow ribbon that I sent in 2004 and the letter is still here with me to remind me of this day that how I took the first step. So while you were in prison, Anil, you worked in a call centre and the chief executive saw your potential, making you the team leader and trainer. Now, after your release from prison, you were inspired to start your own call centre in 2012? The purpose of Agape that, that I formed it is to provide a company where, where anyone with a background, whether he or she is from the prison or physically challenged or, or even any other stage of life they are, where they can come and they can flourish, they can work, they will not be judged by the condition or what they have done or what they are going through. So when I started Agape, I had little small pockets of jobs. And one day, I had a break. I got connected with this man called Joseph C. He was the vice president of uh, Starhub. I was given jobs to do for Starhub. I started with five agents and eventually it multiplied and it filled the call centre in the men's prison, in the women's prison and even in the city office that we are now. So today, Agape Connecting People hires 170 staff members across its women's and men's prison enticing branches and you service about a dozen clients. Tell us, Anil. How has society changed here in Singapore, especially in the way ex-offenders are viewed? We have changed a lot of mindsets. We have changed a lot of uh, preconceived ideas. And I see a lot of companies today are open to hiring ex-offenders. 
people are accepting it. They don't view us with judgmental lenses. They look at us as giving us equal opportunities. It took years to establish to come to the space, but we are here and we're here to stay. Thanks, Anil. You've given us a portrait of purpose in pursuing and succeeding at second chances in life. The Portraits of Purpose podcast series is brought to you by DBS Bank. In this series, we speak to purpose-driven businesses committed to solving the challenging issues of our time. Nothing shines brighter in the midst of adversity than light born of hope, courage, perseverance and generosity. Do watch out for our next episode in a week's time on Sunday to find out who will be featured next and their story of purpose in this podcast series. That was an SPH podcast by The Straits Times. Find us on Spotify, Apple or Google Podcasts or streaming on Google Home. Do feedback to us at podcast at sph.com.sg. You can also check out more podcasts on various topics at The Straits Times, The Business Times and Money FM 89.3.